Welcome to the first demo video for the SARTable app. SARTable is available for Apple iOS-based devices including the iPhone, iPod and iPad. The app is brought to you by Molecular Materials Informatics. SARTable is designed for entering structure activity relationship data by providing scaffold and substituent fragments then associating the constructed molecules with other data such as activity or ID. In this demo, we are going to create a table which represents the structures of half a dozen penicillin derivatives. First, we need to create a new table. We double tap on the empty table icon to open it, and our first action is to append a new row. Double tapping on the blank scaffold cell opens the structure editor, which we now use to draw the core scaffold of penicillin. When we accept the new structure, the app notices that there are two substituent placeholders, R1 and R2, and it offers to create new fields for them. We double tap the R1 field which opens the structure editor. It begins with a placeholder, R, from which we create an amino substituent. We do likewise for R2, in which case we draw a carboxylic acid functional group. Double tapping on the name field gives us a chance to enter the name for this derivative. Now we add a new row for which the values are all blank. Double tapping on the scaffold brings up a list of unique values from other columns, which allows us to reuse the first scaffold. For the R1 substituent, we want to draw a new structure.
For R2, we simply want to reuse the value from the first row. The third structure is similar to the second one, so we're going to duplicate the entire row instead of adding a blank row. For the fourth row, we copy the scaffold, and then we copy the value of R1 from a previous value and use it as a starting point for modifying. For the fifth row, the value of R1 is quite a different fragment, so it's easier to draw it from scratch. The sixth row has values for R1 and R2 which are quite different from the other structures. The fragment for R2 is a carboxylic acid derivative.
We have finished entering the structure, so we return to the main menu. Notice the icon now shows a preview of the content. Touch and hold on the icon to open a menu and find the Present option. There are a variety of ways to export the SAR table and also preview the content. On reviewing the presentation quality output, it turns out that there is a mistake in the R1 substituent for hetacillin, so we can go back and fix it. Notice that correcting the R1 fragment immediately applied the change to the constructed molecule. This concludes the first simple demo of the SAR table app. For more information, visit the Molecular Materials Informatics website.